Russian President Vladimir Putin has said Bangladesh is a trusted friend of Russia, noting that Dhaka Russia bilateral relations have seen 50 successful years. The Russian President made the statement at the fuel handover ceremony of the Rupur nuclear power plant in Pabna, joining the event via an audio visual link from the Kremlin in Russia, while Bangladesh Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina joined it virtually from Gonubhavon. Other participants attended the program at the RNPP plant in person. Putin said the first unit of the nuclear power plant in Bangladesh will be commissioned in 2024 and the second unit in 2026. Russia would stand by the Sheikh Hasina-led government on Bangladesh's nuclear journey, he added. Sheikh Hasina said Russia has promised to take back the spent fuel of the nuclear plant to their country. She said the design and construction of this nuclear power plant is being carried out, keeping in mind that it doesn't get damaged during any kind of disaster. Thursday marks a historic day for Bangladesh as the country formally receives its first batch of nuclear fuel from Russia, a milestone event in the development of the Rupu nuclear power plant. This ceremony heralds Bangladesh's entry into the global nuclear community, making it the 33rd country worldwide to handle uranium for nuclear energy production. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina will address a press conference tomorrow to brief the media about the outcome of her joining the 78th United Nations General Assembly session in New York. The press conference will be held at Gonabhavan residence at 4 p.m. tomorrow. The Prime Minister returned home on Wednesday after wrapping up her 16-day official visit to the USA and the UK. BNP Secretary General Mr. Fakhrul Islam Alamgir has alleged that the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina returned home from the US with empty handed. The BNP leader said this while addressing a rally before starting a long march to Chattogram today. Mr. Fakhrul said BNP party leaders and activists will not leave the road until democracy is re established in Bangladesh. The Wamili government is illegal and mandateless. They should not stay in power, Fakhrul said. BNP is holding series of programs to press home their one-point demand for holding the election under a non-party caretaker government. BNP's road march commenced despite persistent rainfall, marking the last day of the party's 17-day program. The BNP Secretary General can announce the party's next course of action after reaching road march to Chattogram as the BNP leaders and activists are assembling at the Mishorai rally venue undeterred by the adverse weather conditions. Road Transport and Bridges Minister and Awamili General Secretary Obadul Qadir said that he was not wrong when he said a lot is going on behind the scenes. He said this while exchanging views with journalists at the Secretary today. Qadir said there is a rumour that the relationship between Bangladesh and the US has deteriorated. This is not desirable at this time. Responding to a question on relationship with China, Qadir said, China has a role to play in Bangladesh's development activities. They can't bypass that. They are taking their help. Nirapatta upadeshtar sathe je boitokta, e boitokir bishota kintu aksapta purjanto keo jana na. Eta kuno kagas bhatro aash nai, media to aash nai, kaze tole tole apos mani dhuta deshe sampar ko unna yon. বা আমাদের সম্পর্ক ভালো আছে আমি সেটা বোঝাতে চাই দিল্লিরও আমাদেরকে দরকার আমাদেরও দিল্লিকে দরকার তার অর্থ এই নয় যে আমরা অন্যদের সাথে সম্পর্ক খারাপ করি নিজা 
ফকরুল সাহেবরা আগ বাড়িয়ে অনেক কথা বলেন সেটার সাথে আমাদের উদ্দেশ্য এবং লক্ষ্য তার কোনো মিল নেই আমরা ইন্ডিয়ার সহযোগিতায় ক্ষমতায় থাকব এরকম উদ্ভব চিন্তা আজব চিন্তা আমাদের মাথায় আসে Grameen Telecom Chairman and Nobel Laureate Dr. Muhammad Yunus believes the embezzlement and money laundering case filed against him was orchestrated to demean his reputation. Following an hour-long interrogation at the ACC head office in the morning, when the Nobel Laureate asked by journalist whether he was apprehensive about the case, he responded that he wasn't, hasn't committed any crime and he has nothing to worry about. Later, Barrister Abdullah Al Mamun said, during the ACC interrogation, Dr. Yunus categorically rejected the allegations, asserting that they lack a factual foundation. Dr. Yunus said the highlighted amount of Taka 25 crore subject to embezzlement claims was disbursed to workers by Grameen Telecom in accordance with contractual agreements. আপনারা এটা জালিয়াতি করছেন তাদের সাথে ইয়ে করে আপনারা এটা নিয়ে নিয়েছেন সেখানে ডক্টর ইউনুস সাহেব বললেন এটা তো দুই পক্ষের সমঝোতা টাকা দেওয়া হয়েছে শ্রমিকের সেটেলমেন্ট এগ্রিমেন্ট অনুযায়ী যেটা হাইকোর্ট অনুমোদন করেছে সুতরাং এটা তো জালিয়াতি হতে পারে না 437 কোটি টাকা হাইকোর্টের আদেশ মোতাবেক এটা শ্রমিকের টাকা হয়ে গেছে শ্রমিকের টাকা থেকে তাদের অ্যাডভান্স দেওয়া হয়েছে উকিলের ফি এবং মামলার খরচ তারা আগে নিয়েছে যেখানে কোনো মামলাই হয় না চুক্তির ব্যাপার দুই পক্ষের স্বাক্ষরিত সেখানে এটা উদ্দেশ্যমূলকভাবে করা হয়েছে ওনাকে হেয় প্রতিপন্ন করা হয়েছে দেশীয় এবং আন্তর্জাতিকভাবে হেয় প্রতিপন্ন করার জন্য এই মামলা করা হয়েছে বলে উনি মনে করেন Poet Asa Chaudhary has passed away. He breathed his last at a hospital in Toronto, Canada. Poet Asa Chaudhary has two sons and a daughter. They all live in Toronto. Asa Chaudhary rose to fame with his first volume of poems, Tabak Deyapan, in 1987. He won the Bangla Academy Award. In 2013, he received the Ekushe Patuk. The Nobel Prize in Literature has been awarded to Norwegian writer John Fosse for his innovative plays and prose, which give voice to the unsayable according to the Swedish Academy. One of his country's most performed dramatists, Fosse 64, has written some 40 plays, as well as novels, short stories, children's books, poetry and essays. <laughs> 